Hi everyone guys, it's Igor Emeth and Smaps Company. Right now I'm in Great Britain, standing next to the building that cost many, many, many million dollars. This is an innovative building with an interesting twist and it was built in Art University, Bournemouth. What is so attractive in Bournemouth for students? It's known for its sandy beaches, historical signs and vibrant youth culture. It has long established itself as a gem of the UK. Bournemouth has an amazing photogenic recreational sea pier, fancy food and a lifetime. It's interesting that real estate in Bournemouth is very expensive. There are many affluent areas here and residents of the UK purchase resort properly here. Bournemouth is a very beautiful city and compact at the same time. There are many department stores, large bookstores and plenty of cafes. If you're a fan of vintage shops, visit Old Christ Church Road in Pokestown suburb. In my opinion, living in Bournemouth offers students truly a great lifestyle. What would be my recommendations for clothes you should take with you to Bournemouth in winter? Don't forget light gloves, warm trousers, a jacket or a coat, it's freezing in winter here. So cold sandbanks are located just 5 kilometers to the south of Bournemouth. They are known for being attractive to the rich and famous due to its secluded location and harbor views. Well, the most expensive street in the world, consisting of just 13 houses, is located here. The real estate cost here is higher than in Miami or Monte Carlo. Today we'll meet a uh, representative uh, who will show us uh, the whole university. To be honest, I've already um, been here three years ago, so I know what they have and uh, what they um, did not have. This building hadn't been here when I was uh, here uh, three years ago. It is um, new, it was just built. In fact, uh, you can do everything that comes to your mind um, here. There are a lot of devices, um, machinery and expensive equipment uh, which is uh, used by various uh, companies uh, coming here to um, use all uh, this uh, equipment. So students have the opportunity to work and uh, study in these, uh, in my opinion, excellent conditions. You can see lots of illustrations uh, behind me, and it's one of the most popular subjects here. Right now, I am in the textile labs. If you want to create your own clothes or anything else, um, then this university is one of the best choices for you.
introductory courses, and very good thing for those who have not yet decided what they will do in the future. So here we try various creative directions provided by the university to understand which one you are most comfortable with and what you enjoy doing to choose the main course only after that. On Mondays we have online classes, they just bring us up to speak about the week schedule and prepare for what we will do. From time to time we have days off during the week, so we are not overloaded, which is great. Our classes, well, I can just call it a classic to our class because it's four hours long, it's just a small break between its parts. We have a little bit of theory first and then we dive into practice right away, so theory takes just 15 to 20 minutes. After that we will dive into practice, uh, starting to create something, and that's what I really love here, we start working immediately. We did a live joy, I don't think that I would have been able to find a model to pose me like they do here, I would uh, have to paint a picture in a couple of minutes. I mean, I'm not really into painting, but after the classes I understood that it's not actually that bad, everyone can learn it. Everything here is intended for beginners, and so if you have zero experience in editing, they will explain it to you and everything will be all right. I'm going to tell you a little bit uh, about subjects and a variety of them. Now uh, you can see these dummies with uh, sweaters and costumes on them. They are made by students of a costume um, making master's program. But it's not just a costume making, it's a historical costume program. There was a number of courses here, including a short-term ones. Uh, so if you don't know what you want to study yet, if you want to try something, you can come to short-term uh, programs. Of course, there are bachelor's programs here, foundations, and Natasha is uh, one of uh, them. It's a preparatory course. They're trying different fields and it's interesting for them. They might discover some un unknown talents or interests that they've had no idea about. There are many subjects here and you can also collaborate with other uh, faculties. I guess that uh, all of you have seen the movie called Baby Driver, so uh, the director of the movie has been starting here and came uh, here to have a uh, class with um, students. Here in one of the buildings, so you can see what they uh, study here. The first is animation production, then design and innovation, uh, there is a Fine arts, uh, graphic design, aforementioned um, historical costumes, illustration and photography, and all of them are just in one building and all uh, these uh, subjects are studied here. Commercial uh, photography is uh, not when you just uh, have a camera and carry it with you shooting random pics. Uh, they teach here to make uh, commercial uh, shootings for advertisements. There are different uh, rooms and classes here, dark rooms. Uh, there is a lab where you study various uh, techniques of uh, photography. Yep. <laughs> This building, which is um, primarily meant for drawing, was designed so that the light uh, goes from uh, the um, north uh, side. Students are drawing here all the time, and in um, 2016, um, Zaha Hadid came to here to open this building. It looks uh, different from the outside, and personally somehow reminds me of such a funny boot from here. I want to go into editing, visual effects, uh, movies and stuff. Um, there is acting here, even dancing. That is so plenty of various directions related to art. I guess there is virtually everything. When we didn't consider London in the first place, because actually it's very expensive, I mean extremely expensive, and Bournemouth is much smaller and it's cozy. Generally, I'm a fan of big cities, but really I like the atmosphere here, and uh, when I'd come to the university, I was absolutely sure about my choice. I wasn't sure in the first place because uh, the city is small, I was afraid that it wouldn't be comfortable. But when I came here, I felt this creative atmosphere right away. I saw students and teachers who are engulfed in their creativity. I I got really motivated and understood that this is the place where I need to be. I want to give you an example of uh, model making. There are just uh, five model making uh, courses in the world and um, 
Arts um, University Bournemouth uh, course is ranked the first in the, the world. Model making is uh, not just uh, creating human uh, models of uh, plasticine. It's applied everywhere in museums, so when you need to make a replica or, or something, in architecture, so there is an architecture modeling, of course, and let's say, for instance, that you do modeling, students from um, model making courses cooperate with uh, students from uh, photography and uh, to set the lights uh, and uh, pass uh, the reality through the picture properly. So uh, students from different courses may cooperate with each other. Uh, when you walk here and see these uh, figurines in person, uh, they look so realistic. I mean, uh, look at the disc, uh, the camera, the brakes. Uh, I did not believe at first that it's not real. And it's a model. <laughs> And this is a classroom, also known as a lab, or it may look similar to beauty salons for someone. This is uh, the room where makeup is uh, studied. But uh, not just uh, makeup, say, uh, makeup for a wedding. This is where makeup for TV shows and uh, movies is uh, studied. There are a lot of uh, work options with this in the future. I had an image of a dormitory before I came here, and when I arrived, I saw this. I was like, wait, is this a hotel or something? So, yes, it's uh, really great. A new university student residence has just been built and commissioned. I was shown a typical student room here. There is everything that a student needs. Uh, it's a great room, this window facing the courtyard. Um, the university has now 4,000 students. So as you can imagine, there is a lot of international students um, in the dormitory. This is a typical room for one person, a queen-sized bed, a table, a wardrobe is also about one half uh, meters, uh, just for you to have an idea where to put your stuff, I think it's just great for uh, one person, and I uh, also want to say about how rooms are designed. It's apartments, meaning that when you come in, you have a corridor with uh, lots of uh, different rooms, and a um, kitchen, one for several people. So now I'm walking down the corridor, that's I've already came into the door leading to the rooms, and here you have the rooms one, uh, two, three, four. Every room has a fridge, there is a dishwasher, so basically there is everything that a student needs. By the way, when you move in, they give you welcome packs, such a box with uh, lots of uh, things uh, that are necessary for um, the first days. There is a gym on the temporary of the university, there is also Starbucks here, I often go to the seaside, there is a pier here, it's insanely beautiful here in the evening, especially during the sunset, so you can walk along the sea by the water, go to the pier, which is incredibly beautiful. The university works with a huge number of large companies. They come here to give um, cases for uh, students and uh, cooperate with them. As I said about the model making faculty downstairs, there are only five courses on this level in the world. Students, so without um, getting a degree, um, without finishing the speciality, they get job while still studying. Huge amount of uh, money were invested in equipment lately. You can uh, take um, like any faculty and you'll get uh, the most uh, modern equipment possible in the 
industry at the moment. Design, architecture, model making, photography, theater, um, film production, take any of them and you'll get the latest possible equipment. Tens of millions of dollars are being invested. Some companies came to the university just to use its equipment because um, like the university has the latest equipment which companies may not have uh, that also encourages collaboration. The gallery also houses exhibitions. For instance, the curator of the foundation course, which is a preparation for bachelors, so is a specialist in Banksy and knowledge like worldwide. Students make various models of such a level from uh, the beginning uh, during the freshman year. See, they've already made uh, the model of a camera, a rocket, some of them are used in design, uh, this model of a chair, for example. Well, um, next we have architecture models. Uh, here you can uh, see complex uh, things uh, such as uh, this face model with facial muscles uh, which is done in a second year and you can see this is much more detailed and this is a third year. They make really complex models that look pretty alive to me and uh, models of such a level are used in any field like um, Vax uh, figurines uh, in uh, cinema maybe in uh, theaters museums or large uh, different uh, large companies <music> these machines with an eagle are um, are from the 18th century. They were used for printing back in the 18th century. The Times New newspaper, for instance, and the university keeps it working uh, so the students are able to try it and to understand. Yes, they are working to try and understand how that all began. <laughs> The plastic museum we saw in the um, uh, library is uh, the only plastic museum in the UK today that has been accredited. You may be wondering why we need a plastic museum in general, but it allows universities, uh, schools and organizations to explore different areas of um, application of uh, plastic, from medicine uh, to life um, jackets, uh, toys, and anything that comes uh, to your mind. Um, in comparison to other universities, um, Arts University Bournemouth uh, is uh, relatively small. If we talk about state universities, 4,000 students study here. But uh, at the same time, I think that this is uh, the best um, in uh, terms of walking. You just uh, don't uh, need to go far, far away, and everything you need is on the campus, including student residences. Well, for example, Dasha told us uh, that she lives right here. The whole university campus is uh, one piece of art, uh, starting from buildings um, built in uh, different um, styles. And I must say that there is uh, something interesting uh, in the university's uh, building portfolio. They've bought a uh, theater recently, a vintage one, uh, which is already 90 years old. It has existed since uh, 1931st. The reason they bought it, uh, because besides its design and textile collections, there are a huge number of uh, subjects related to art, um, including cinema and theater pr productions. Also, the university has a building called the Student Services, and uh, what kind of uh, building is this? Students who come here, if they need uh, help, uh, they need uh, different kinds of support, so they can ask for it here. There is also the Student Union, and uh, firstly, it is uh, solidarity, secondly, it allows people on campus uh, to get to know each other, thirdly, you can come up with some ideas and future projects and support. Support is uh, very important for students to make them uh, feel like a home. 
by the way, um, if you're interested to know more about uh, long-term, uh, short-term or master's programs about making a portfolio, for all information about university programs, follow the link in the description. You can uh, consult managers which are available in an online chat or you can call them. Uh, please feel free to ask. Uh, they, they are always glad to glad to answer you. Buildings here are um, di divided into centers or departments. Uh, some of the centers are innovative and what does it mean? A lot of things that students do here may be innovative products. Uh, that is, uh, they create something we've uh, never seen before. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.